Right, I'm going to show you how to uh, update your Novus Rider. It, um, it's supposed to be easy, but it appears that there's a bit of a firmware issue. This is the Novus Rider, or for anyone who hasn't seen a Novus Rider in real life, this is what it looks like in real life. Simple unit. Great little unit, to be honest. Turn it on. Get a simple display. Voice alerts. Welcome. Fasten your seatbelt. A few buttons on the top. Um, so you can do the updates accordingly and then on off switch on the side. First of all, turn your rider off. Make sure that you've got a USB update cable. So standard USB update cable that comes with the rider. Keep that handy. You're going to need that in a minute. And then um, what you do is you go to the Novus Auto website. So novusauto.com and you go up here and you've got user registration and log on. If you haven't registered Go onto the user registration page, fill in all the details, and then um, you can go back to your logon, and you can log in. Obviously, you use your username, in which case is my email, and then your logon. Log on. <coughs> so we're uh, we're logged in, and what we can do now is we can pick the Novus Rider. So we can do our product. So we got my account. We select the product. In this case. Novus Rider 700, click on that and then down the bottom we've got some files you can see here voice file, firmware file, your latest database and the update program. Now the trick is get yourself a, a little page up on, um, on your desktop and obviously you can right click you can create a folder so we want a new folder and we'll just call it Novus for the sake of it. Just remember that one. Don't ignore the fact that I've already got some up here. Now what we want to do here is we want to click on the update program and you'll notice as I'm doing the update program down the bottom here it's downloading. And What we can do now is we can always open it or we can show it in the folder. So here it is in the folder. So what I'm going to do is just take my install program and drop it into my Novus folder which you can see here so I've dragged it over drop it into Novus and if I open the Novus folder it's there the other way to do it obviously is open both folders at the same time we're going to download the voice file so you can see down the bottom here we've downloaded the voice file we'll show it in the folder there it is it's highlighted drag it across into your Novus folder and do exactly the same for your firmware file so there's the firmware show it in the finder, there's our firmware, we drag it across, drop it in and then also we're going back to here and we want to download our database and there's our database and here it is here up on the file, drag it across and we have now in, in our folder, so if we close this one this is our download folder and if I clear this one down here which is where we've done the downloads open this one up now we've got our Novus folder we've got the install file we've got our voice file we've got our firmware file uh, you may not have the one after yours um, mine has the one after there because I've already downloaded it so this is in effect the second copy and this is our database file what you can do now is you can you can drop your Novus Explorer in my case Google Chrome and what we want to do is install the firmware or install the software first so double click on the software agree to run it and we'll get our Novus We Can Go software page up just go down here and click next and then this allows as it says this allows you to update so we click on next again accept the terms and conditions click next and then decide where it's going now usually it's easier just to leave it as the default location we click next and then basically what it's going to do is create a desktop item so we click start job done we select our, our, our language in English and now what it's doing is it's installing the USB driver and you click next down here and you just let it go into the default location click next and then click install and it will install the drivers and then when it's done click on finish and then you'll get another box that comes up that says installation complete. Simple as that. At no point have you plugged in your Novus Rider at this point. All you've done is installed the WeCango software. All it's then done 
is set up on your web page uh, up here. It's re it's put up a, a little icon, your little Novus We Can Go icon, which you can see me moving around. So if we just put our icon here for the moment, and then we've got our three other files that we'll need in a little while. Once you've installed the software, go down to start, turn off your computer, restart your computer. That will install the drivers properly, and then the, the um, drivers are all installed in the correct place. Now, I've not done that, and I don't need to do that because I've already installed the Nova software. So really now it's just a case of losing this, this window. I'll just minimize it for the moment so it's out of the way. We'll chuck it up out of the way there. And then what we do is we get our USB cable, plug it into your PC, <coughs> nice and simple. Don't plug in your Nervous Rider. Open up the software, so double click on the software. Make sure you've got an internet connection at this point. If you don't have an internet connection, this software will appear to load and then just disappear again. And you'll notice up here we've got USB X. We've got connection, we've got reset, we've got English, and we can choose French, English, Spanish, and Italian. Mine's already set for English. Sometimes they'll come with French already applied. If it's French, you'll notice it's, it's slightly different, and even this will be slightly different, but it's still the same apply box. So English and apply. Then what we do is we connect the Novus Rider 700 to our USB cable. And what you'll notice is when you connect it, you'll get a red light. But at this point, I haven't turned on the Novus Rider. If we turn the Novus Rider on at this point, it will go through its usual startup. Welcome. 1701 is the previous database. And then we see 5 and 0, which actually means S and 0, which is the amount of satellites the unit's receiving. And you'll notice at that point that the unit now is doing not much but our software has changed slightly up at the top here you'll see USB OK and you'll see some new boxes open up here which is update setup and points of interest we still got the reset we still got the connection now the first thing you need to do is click update and on the update you can see here that we've got the latest database AU database we have the latest voice file but according to this it says we need an update and it says we have the latest firmware all of which as far as I found out is lying and you'll notice here it says auto update now what we do is if you do an auto update this unit will just go off and do all the updates that it needs to do which technically is the way that the This is gathering data that's already been pre-downloaded to your computer. When you first open the software, you'll, you'll see it downloading some software. We're nearly done. You'll notice on your unit it should be saying up, which means update, and then it says update complete please disconnect unit so click OK in this case I disconnect the unit so we just unplug the unit separate it from the unit I turn the unit off so it's completely dead we plug the cable back in you'll notice up here it says USB X which means we've lost the connection turn the unit back on you get the usual display again and we'll put the unit down there Welcome. Fasten your seat belt. And then what you'll notice is USB OK appears. Now, if you've done this type of update, the automatic update, so you've used auto update, quite often what's happening is you're getting French firmware. So if you go into setup, you'll notice that um, the files may be not quite right. In other words, for some reason France is 10 hours behind us. Why on earth it's doing that? Who knows? And you'll notice it's in kilometres per hour down here instance here UTC and save it and update complete quite often when you come back you'll find it's back on 10 hours and also the same miles per hour and save and done quite often you'll find it will go back to kilometers per hour and it will have nothing to do with it so if we go into setup here and we load the unit settings at the moment it says it's miles per hour but I can guarantee 
if you take the unit out it's doing weird things again. What I found is the most successful way to do an update is to go to manual update. And the first of all, do the browser um, here for firmware, click on the browser, point it to the file. So in, in the case earlier I, I told you that on my desktop I had saved a folder called Novus and there's the Novus folder. We open the Novus folder and it finds the firmware automatically. It knows which is the firmware file. Click open and now the firmware is in there and it says update required. I click on update, we'll put the firmware in. Job done. And it says disconnect the unit. Do what it says. So you've got the unit, disconnect the unit, the software resets, turn the unit off, turn the unit back on. And in fact, in my case, what I need to do is turn the unit off, plug it in, turn the unit back on. And then wait for your update, browse, pick the voice file, still in the Novus folder, open. And then what we do here is we go to update and we program the voice in. And the voice takes a little bit longer because there's a lot of different voice options on this unit. So while it's programming that in, we now have firmware and voice file, both saying updates are required. Ignore that. Don't worry about the fact that it's saying updates are required. Let it do that and then it's exactly the same procedure. Disconnect the unit when it says disconnect the unit, turn the unit off, plug the unit back in, turn the unit back on, wait for the OK. So you'll see here, we've done it, we click OK, we disconnect the unit, we turn the unit off, we turn the unit back on, and we can plug the unit in, and it doesn't really matter whether it's unplugged or in. Fasten your seatbelt. And then we get the setup file, the update file. Now it says the, f the database is fine, but just for the sake of it, manual update, browser, database, open, and then do your update. And this again, this takes even longer than the voice file. What you've done here is you've manually injected the files that Novus is showing on their website. You'll notice down here, these are the files. These are the files that room for error and it a rider it's already set as kilometers per hour and you'll notice here they give you a little notice little notice here that says please note check your settings and while I've been waffling on there you should notice that we've done so we click OK disconnect the unit turn it off and then reconnect the unit and turn it on let it do its thing Wait What you can do is you can go into volume, typically 60 is a good one. You don't have to have smart mute or any of the other settings on if you don't want to. Down here you'll see it says UTC 6. When it's winter time you want 0. So um, scroll down until you see UTC 0. Here, so you can have different speed limit selections. So if we have it on we can check a speed. So for instance we can have it warn us if we go over 80 miles an hour for instance. I'm not bothered about that. And so save sends them to the unit, load loads the settings that are already on the unit and reset will reset it all together. POI, this is where you can there. Um, reset is a master reset for the whole system, back to update, back to connection, and then the job is literally done. And that's how you do a Novus Rider. So the trick is manual updates. When you do the update, use the manual update and do that an hour. Um, and then uh, save everything and what you'll have is a Novus Rider that's designed for the UK. Obviously if you go abroad you've still got the, the continental database on the unit but it is as simple as that. If you it's available on the internet all the time, it's, uh, readers and to UK speed so you can see what the different products are we sell products on here to help support the website but for instance if you wanted to find out some facts and figures about Gatso cameras there's a big section on Gatso, there's a big section on laser guns uh, everything you need to know how to update a Nova